It was an amazing day of service for Samford at the Bell Center. College of Health Sciences students working and helping children. The kids at the Bell Center have a variety of special needs or developmental delays and so learning to read is already going to be something that's a little more difficult for some of these children than for a typically developing child. So to have these books and really begin to introduce the concept of literacy and the love of learning, the love of reading at an early age and then to give the children a tool to use to begin this process is absolutely critical. Literacy was today's focus. Bags with books and activities were put together by the Communication Sciences and Disorders Department. We understand that literacy is a huge component of children being able to learn language from a very early age. What my students have the opportunity today to experience is, what does that mean to a family? To be able to read books to them and to be able to play with them and to be able to see their sweet smile on their faces um, and know that we're making a difference in their life, whether it's you know the five minutes that we see them um, or when they go home and play with those books with their family. Um, it's really cool to know that we're making um, a difference in their life. And this department is built on rigorous academics, service, and leadership. But partnerships, like this one with the Bell Center, allow students critical, hands-on experience. I think it's absolutely critical that the students from Sanford who are beginning to choose a career path where they're going to be working with children with special needs really have this opportunity to begin to see what it's like to work with a child, what kind of skills they need to have, what they want to see themselves develop into. And so I feel like it's critical for these students to really have this one-on-one -on -one experience. An undergraduate student, they don't always have the opportunity to have some hands-on time. That's typically reserved for more graduate students as they are the ones who truly need the clinical hours. So for our undergraduates, what, what an exceptional, experiential moment this is for them to be able to be here and experience this like hands-on. And it's been really great um, to learn about it in the book, to read about what we're supposed to do with children um, when we're reading books to them, um, but then to actually come here and to put hands-on experience onto that um, is, is crucial. For Sarah Grobe, she's not only a communication sciences and disorders student, but she's also majoring in Spanish. Here, she was able to put both into action. It was really great. It's the one of the first times I've been able to actually use Spanish in a therapy setting, so it was really exciting for me. And it was really cool to see him kind of light up after we read a book or two, because he was very shy when we first got him. He didn't want to hold any of the, the toys or really make eye contact with me or the other girl who we were sitting with. Um, but by the end, he was having fun, following directions, and that's just really cool because it's hard to find bilingual speech pathologists. So I know it was a special time for him and it was really cool for me as well. And making a difference is the bottom line for these students and this department. And that's what we do at Samford. What we like to see our students doing is to be plugged in, to be able to identify needs. As a speech language pathologist, one of the things that they're going to have to be able to do is to meet parents, meet adults, meet children where they are, and figure out, critically think through what is it that they need. And so that's what we're trying to teach them is to be able to, to work with everybody and identify how can I help you, not just from a speech language pathologist, but how can I help you in general. I really just want to serve people and improve lives and I think that that's what we're called to do as believers in, in Christ. I think that that's really important and so I'm glad to be able to incorporate that calling into, into my life every day. That's really exciting for me.